What's up guys? Welcome to the YouTube channel. Brand new here, Outdoor Champions. I am going to be doing a review on my 2021 Big Tech trailer. It's the uh, 90SR, rated at 10,000. Obviously, the trailer weighs about 3,200, so that leaves you with about 6,800 pounds. Um, we'll get over here to our stock and we'll continue from there, so stay tuned. Six by 10. So we're gonna start off, I got some custom steps made here on both sides. Cause sometimes to get up, for whatever reason, Big Tech, they put any steps on it. I did uh, two by fours with two by twelves all around, and then I use some big screws. I'll show you what, guys what I did inside afterwards. Um, this is my net here. I just have it down with some bungee cords. Um, Twelve thousand dollars apparently does not get you a spare tire. $300 for a spare tire, which is bullshit, so of course I lock it. For my personal preference for what I do, I do, uh, you know, mower, maintenance mulching, yard cleanups, shrubs, etc. This is not beneficial, the whole uh, roll tarp thing. So the way I did it, let's get over here for better lighting. I use just some Home Depot hooks with some D-rings or whatever these are called, these little, real easy to use. It works for me, perfect. You can get all this at Home Depot, a few bucks. Um, I got my tarp on Amazon, works good. Um, I like this trailer because you can charge it when you're not using it. That's how it comes. Here's my pump. These are just for my strict little cords in the back. Also, 12 grand does not get you an automatic control for up and down. I had to do that. I had to do all the cable work with the... Uh, I use a winch, just bad land. I had to make a few adjustments as you can see here and it works. Works perfect, I love it. Um, so like I said, we got the steps, all custom. This is obviously to my preference. I'm going to show you guys back here. Um, I go to the dump and it's a breeze with this. Four straps. Pull this tarp off, boom, it's gone. So I got these doors custom made because without these, it is real. Those of you guys who know, it's really hard to try to pile everything towards the back. So I have a friend who welds, got all these doors custom welded, pin here that pins down to the bottom doors, these just so they have a little better stability here. Um, real easy to use, bam. And then these hook, I'll show you guys. So we did, uh, we welded it to the 2x2 two two tubing that was already previously here, and then I added this little strip here that you can see welded to hold the boards. You can see they're screwed on there to, for more support. With a little weld here, kind of like a gusset. Um, and these doors, he made it to where if I'm on a hill or something, they still hook into the original. 
original hook of the trailer, which is real nice. Same with this side. Same thing, a little gusset with the weld with the tab for the boards to hold. So now I'm inside the trailer. You can see I have a bunch of stupid shit in here. Um, I realized that when I put just these bolts, it was opening. I guess I didn't think about it before, but it was opening because there was nothing to hold it up here. So I went out and bought some screws and screwed every, on the two by fours. I screwed two up here, two down here, two here, two down here on all the two by twos, all the way around. So I pretty much just eliminated this from opening up with the weather change. And then my tarp here is just hooked with the four, bam. I have had no problems whatsoever. And I've had this trailer to the top. Works perfect. So just an idea of how my net works when I'm driving, I'm going about 68. Um, there it is. It works perfectly fine. My ramps, of course, I lock them. Some people are probably like, that's stupid, but I'm not trying to have my ramps stolen. And I'm fucked. So I lock them. I lock everything. There you have it. This is the, uh, this works out perfect for me. How's it going? Very good.